So today we're going to discuss one of my favourite things, something that I feel naked without, and that is jewellery. This is actually quite a requested video. A lot of people have said to me, can you do something about your jewellery? Can you show us the jewellery you wear every day? Because I do wear quite a lot of it. I'm not going to show you my entire collection today, just because I feel like it, it makes more sense to show you the stuff that I, I really wear. I would say they are good value for the quality that you get. They're not necessarily the cheapest of cheap. We're not talking like you know, 20 pound necklaces. We're talking kind of like 100 pound necklaces. So it's that bit higher. But these are pieces that I wear every single day and are good quality and stand the test of time. And I've worn them every single day because they're that slightly higher price point where you get your money's worth. Okay, I am now completely jewelry free. I feel like I shouldn't be filming. It feels so weird to not have jewelry on, you know, it, it feels strange. The first thing we're gonna start with is earrings. I literally have my earlobe pierced. I don't have any other ear piercings because I don't like my ears. I hate them. The earrings that I wear every day are these little hoops from Daisy London. Here is a really good close-up actually of these. They are basic little hoops. These are a gold colour. They are fairly small hoops. I don't like too big of a hoop. And they have a kind of, um, what is it? It's, it's almost like a a leaf pattern, like a laurel leaf, but I don't think it is. I think they're around 99 pounds, but as always, everything will be linked in the description. And these are the best hoops for every day. These are just the perfect little hoop. These can be worn in the daytime, in the nighttime. Honestly, with these, I feel like you don't need another pair of earrings. Like, these are just so applicable for every circumstance. They're good quality. I think they're about £99. So like I said, nothing in here is cheap, but we're not talking hundreds of thousands or, you know, we're not talking really anything over the £200 mark, I don't think. These were actually gifted from Daisy London. I have a couple of pieces from Daisy London that were gifted and a couple of pieces that I have bought myself or have had bought for me as presents from family. So just needed to put that in, uh, but these ones were gifted. If you don't own a pair of earrings or you're looking to maybe spend £100 on a pair of earrings, you can't go wrong. Th these won't date. Like these have been in fashion for how many years? Several. Let's then go down to necklaces and we are going to start with this flat chain. Challenge of the camera. Actually, this is picking up really nicely. So you can see this is a super flat chain and it has this really nice pattern on the gold on it. Now, this chain, I don't know how old it is. I'm going to ask my mum after I finish filming this video, but this is actually from my mum. This obviously can't be bought now because my mum got it probably maybe in like the 80s or something like that. But Daisy, who make my earrings, have an incredibly similar necklace to this. My friend has it and she thought that this was the same necklace. So if you do like this necklace and you think, oh, that's so annoying, it's not available. Well, I will link the Daisy version below because again, Daisy jewelry, I love it and um, it's great quality. And it's really similar to this one. It's probably the closest you're gonna find actually. This chain is really good because it just kind of starts off the layering and it just sits flat. So it's a bit different to other necklaces. See, it just, it just really stands out. I think on its own, you wouldn't wear it, but it works really well to layer it in the way that I do. My next one that I wear in the middle of my kind of three layers of necklaces is another chain, well another, is the first chain from Daisy. This is from the Estee La Londe collection. It's the, I think it's called like the Sunburst necklace or something like that. I do, I should have given this a clean to be honest. It's a bit, um, it's a bit grotty because I wear it every day. This necklace, I think I've had it for about two years. If I'm leaving the house and I'm wearing one necklace, it's this. This necklace was my first ever Daisy piece and I feel like it's actually a really good place to start. You can really tell with the quality of them, although mine is a little bit dirty, I will, I will admit, so I probably should have cleaned it. But that is quite a good testament to the time because I wear this every day, you know, I'm constantly like doing things with it on. I don't save it for special occasions and it's absolutely fine. So I think that one layers very nicely with the old, the old chain. The final necklace I have in my necklace trio is another one from Daisy. This one my mum got me for my birthday. And this is the longest chain in the collection. It's quite nice because this one has a different style of chain and at the end it's got this little ring. I feel like this one matches my earrings quite well because my earrings are Daisy as well. 
<laughs> it kind of um, ties everything together. I'm just gonna jump up so you can see. So this is what the chains look like layered. I feel like they layer really, really well together. The distance between them is really well spaced, even though this one isn't a daisy chain, a daisy chain. <laughs> I feel like wearing necklaces just makes outfits look so much cooler. I'm wearing a turtleneck. It's absolutely nothing on its own, but when you've got jewelry with it, it looks like a thing. Let's do rings and let's put them on in the order that I put them on. I'm gonna start with this one. This is the one that goes on my index finger. It's the first one that goes on my index finger because there are two. This is a classic wishbone shape. Again, it's gold. All of the jewelry I'm showing you is gold. And this was actually given to me by my mum. This was her ring. I can't link this below, like the exact one, but it's a very um, like mass produced shape of ring. So I'm sure I'll be able to find one and link a similar one below. Also on this finger goes this little heart ring. This again was given to me by my mum. When I say given to me, I sort of mean, I saw it and I went, ooh, that's nice, mum. Can I have it? And I wear these on the same finger they are ever so slightly too big for me but i feel like sometimes when your fingers get a bit warm they kind of swell up and it takes it away so i actually wear these together and then they almost sort of look like one ring sometimes they kind of overlap a little bit but i don't really care too much i just wear those like that i wear three rings on this hand the last one is on this finger what is this finger called the swearing finger, I don't know. And this one is from Daisy. So obviously it will be linked below because it's a current thing rather than an old thing. This is a kind of similar vibe to the necklace that I have. It's that kind of um, starbursty sunburst shape. It's really beautiful. And I feel like it matches really well with the old rings, even though this is a brand new ring and these are, are fairly old rings. I think they match really well. Um, I would like to get another one for this finger, I think. On my left hand, I wear two rings. The one I wear on my index finger is a ring from Daisy. Again, sorry about that, I just really do like Daisy. This was given to me for my birthday this year. I love this, I feel like it's really, really beautiful. It's quite like intricate, this one, but quite delicate at the same time. And then I also, on this finger, the swearing finger, wear this ring. It's the biggest of the lot. It's again, it's from Daisy and I got it for my birthday. I really, really like this one. And I wear it on the sweary finger so you can see together they look like this. I really like rings and I'd quite like to get some more. But at the minute, this is what we are dealing with. I think in this light, these ones look a bit more dark than these, but they all are pretty much the same color. That one might be slightly, slightly darker, but you know, they're all gold anyway. Moving on to this wrist. I wear two bracelets. This one is a fake Cartier bracelet that I got off eBay about two and a half years ago. I have worn this bracelet every day for about two and a half years and I've never had an issue with it. This cost me £5.98 off eBay. It doesn't screw like a Cartier bracelet, it clips undone. The only thing I've noticed with in the last year is sometimes it's kind of clipping undone and coming off. But to be honest, £5.98, it looks pretty good. I just kind of got that because I saw a girl on Instagram had it and I thought, might as well give it a go, see what turns up. And it just looks like quite like a nice thing to have on your wrist. Like I don't, if anyone says to me, oh, a Cartier bracelet, I'm like, it's from eBay. But the amount of time people have thought that this was real, I always tell them it's not. I always say, oh my God, it's from eBay. I'm not spending eight grand on a bracelet. Are you joking me? But I think it looks just as good, really. Probably next year or something, I'll end up throwing it away. I'm not about to get a real one. Don't worry, I haven't lost my mind. But it's nice, I think. It's just a simple, nice bracelet and for £5.98, yeah, you can't go wrong. This bracelet is a little bangle from Dorothy Perkins. I just stick this on with this. I feel like it brings a bit of something to the occasion, makes makes things a bit more interesting. I don't know, it was, it was a really cheap one. It's probably not even available anymore. It is tarnishing on the inside a bit, but from the outside, it's fine. Um, again, it would have been really cheap. It was about five pounds or something like that. I just stick it on that wrist and we're good. Let's talk watches. So I had this one on at the start of the video. This is everybody's favorite Daniel Wellington with the mesh strap and the black face and the like the petite kind of size. I have had this watch for years. I've had several Daniel Wellington watches and I do love them. I've, I've worn this 
so, so much. I'm a fan of a dark face on a watch. I'm not as keen on a light face, unless it's diamonds. If anybody wants to buy me a watch face covered in diamonds, I wouldn't be um, opposed. Daniel Wellington watches, I do love them, I, I will admit. But, the watch I've gotten recently is this Versace watch. We've um, leveled up a little bit. Oh, it's, it's, it's coming out of its little box. Now you might be wondering, Maria, why have you got your lovely Versace watch in its box? This is my lovely Versace watch in its box. Unfortunately, it's too big for me and I need to get the links taken out of it before I can wear it. But I love it, I can't wait to wear this. We've been in lockdown and all the shops have shut and I need to go to a jeweler's to get the links taken out so I can start wearing it because I've almost started resenting my old trusty Daniel Wellington because all I wanna do is wear this damn watch and I can't because it's too big. I'm pretty sure this is the most expensive thing in the collection. I think it was in the watch shop sale for around 260 pounds, but I think full price it was maybe 300 ish i'm not sure but it is a very classic lovely watch but as you can see it's just far too big for me i love it but i i just need to get the what uh, links taken out and when i get the links taken out i will be wearing this like a mad woman see look how nice it is i can't actually wait to start wearing this because i think it looks cool i think it makes me look like um like an 80s gangster Never in my life did I think I would be calling myself an 80s gangster. But I think that's what it looks like. It's a bit Del Boy, isn't it? But I love it. <laughs> so there we go. Those were my everyday jewellery pieces that I wear every day. Clothes in the name. I feel like these are really good investment pieces or they're quite good entry level investment pieces. If you want some quite like nicer jewellery that isn't going to tarnish and other than like the, the two bracelets on my wrist that are cheaper, kind of the rings, the necklaces, the earrings, they're all really good high quality pieces and I think it's better sometimes to have a few good high quality pieces rather than spending like 20 quid on a necklace and throwing it out in two weeks like it's just a better economical and environmental decision I hope you've enjoyed seeing the jewelry that I wear every day if you've got any questions let me know I will leave all of the links to the pieces in the description and any similar ones to kind of like the vintage ones I'll link those like similar options below as well Give the video a like if you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one.